Uh, today we can announce that Select uh, Publix Pharmacies in Hernando, Marion, and Citrus Counties will begin administering 15,000 doses of the Moderna vaccine later this week to senior citizens aged 65 and older. Now, vaccinations will be provided by appointment only uh, through the public's website, www.publix.com backslash COVID vaccine. Public ex Publix expects to have the site live and running on Thursday of this week. And it's important that people go to the public's website and make the appointment because they want to do it by appointment only. They want to avoid having a crush of people just show up and waiting um, in line all day. And so, so please go to the website and make the appointment. And it's also important to be clear that this is a pilot project between the state of Florida and Publix. Uh, and vaccines are not available right now at every Publix throughout the state of Florida. Uh, this is 22 select pharmacy locations in Hernando, Marion, and Citrus Counties. We're gonna continue rolling out things like drive-through testing sites. So trying to get the vaccine into the community, into our, our senior population. Publix though is perfect because this is part of the community. You have folks who are coming here all the time, age 65 and plus. And so if they're able to go online, make an appointment, as they're getting their groceries, get a shot. This is a pretty easy shot to get. Yeah, you gotta fill out a form. There's a little bit of paperwork, but basically they put the needle in. I've watched probably a dozen of these over the last couple of weeks in live demonstrations, haven't seen any problems with it. So to have that in every community um, potentially could be a big thing. So our goal is we wanna do the pilot project. We selected these three counties um, and these 22 pharmacies, uh, but I've made clear to Publix that uh, if we're able to do this, if it's efficient, if people have good response to it, you know, my goal would be to work with them in all their pharmacies. And you have how many pharmacies throughout the state of Florida? 756. They have 756 pharmacies. Uh, and Publix has said they could potentially do between 100 and 125 shots at each one of those facilities. So if you think about that, multiplying that statewide, that's an incredible force multiplier for our vaccination efforts. It'll be done in a way that's convenient for our senior citizens, and I think will make a big, big difference. We also wanna give you an update on some of the other things that are going on in the state of Florida. Uh, I was able to visit two of our larger hospital systems yesterday, Orlando Health in uh, Central Florida and Jackson Memorial, which is our largest system in Miami-Dade. Uh, both of them are now fully engaged in vaccinations for our people 65 and plus. Uh, Orlando Health uh, just started operating six sites throughout Central Florida. Uh, Jackson is operating three sites with more to come and we're working with them to support them on doing some drive-through testing sites. And between both systems, they think each system will be able to do a minimum of 10,000 doses uh, a week. Uh, for people 65 and up. And I think you're seeing other hospitals throughout the state of Florida also step up. Uh, we're now in the new year. I think people are getting into the groove uh, and, and I think we're gonna make this available. So uh, we're really happy that the hospitals have stepped up, uh, stepping up for our seniors and we wanna continue to do that. At the end of the day, uh, when, when we have the feds tell us a few days before the next shipment of vaccine comes in, they say, where do you want it sent? And uh, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be sending it and prioritizing, whether it's a hospital, whether it's Publix, whether it's whoever, we're gonna prioritize it to those areas that are the most effective at getting vaccines to our senior citizens. And so as Orlando Health and Jackson may need more because they're doing it, we'll give them more. If there's other uh, hospitals or other entities that aren't using the allotments that they were given, uh, then we'll dial that back.